Because you got two Pokemon in here that are going to be weak to Psychic moves. You've got four Pokemon that are going to have issues with those ground moves. Once Clefki's Air Balloon is popped, so it'll be interesting. All right, so <clears throat> if I remember correctly, that's a normal gem, fake out, U-turn, Ambipom. Hydreigon is interesting because he's got a huge special attack. <clears throat> I think this is a special wall, Trevenant. I know that Bice and I have been talking over the last couple days about different strategies. Assault Vest on Slowbro, because I know this Slowbro. Electivire is pretty quick and has a lot of punchy, punchy moves. And then Aerodactyl is probably the Mega. Really quick, hits really hard. Hmm. I don't know what's going to come out first, though. I have no idea what's happening first, so... Hello everybody, this is DKG's Avos. I'm going to absolutely admit that I have no idea what's coming at me. Oh yeah, that Electivire is an expert belt. <clears throat> Increases super effective moves. Alright, so Ambipom has come out first. And so there's probably something happening with um, Fake Out and Fling and everything else. And I don't want to deal with it. <clears throat> not on Klefki. I don't want to lose that air balloon right away. I'm not going to lose that air balloon to an Ambipom right away. So I'm going to switch out into, Me into Ven excuse me, into Venusaur. Take the taunt. <clears throat> I was expecting the fake out, but I'll take taunt. And that's okay. That does mean that I'm not going to be able to go for Toxic or Synthesis until the taunt wears off. But I am going to go straight away into Sludge Bomb. I'm going to take U-turn damage. And that's going to suck a little bit, but it is what it is. I'd rather take that than have to deal with uh, Klefki losing the air balloon or anything else. And you can see just how much how much bulk Mega Venusaur really has. If anybody's not playing with Mega Venusaur, if you've never played with Mega Venusaur, I think, I think that should be a good indicator of why you should use it. It takes a lot of shots, even from, like, Brave Birds on Talon Flames. It'll survive pretty well, unless you've got a choice band. Unless you've got a banded Brave Bird, Adamant Nature, uh, yeah, it's going to survive pretty well. Hmm. Alright, so Sludge Bomb probably not going to do crazy amounts of damage on Aerodactyl, but it doesn't look like we're going to get poison on it either. <clears throat> With that, I really don't want to switch... I don't want to keep him in. Earthquake is a problem that I don't want to deal with. I don't have any Levitate, and I've got so many Pokemon that are weak to Earthquake. <clears throat> uh, we're just going to have to try and force it out. Because he is still Rock Flying, that means he's four times weak to any Ice moves. Bring out an Ice Pokemon, see what you can do. It's a little worrisome. Because there's a lot of things that Aerodactyl can do. <clears throat> Walren is pretty bulky. He's more of a special defense wall in the way that I've built him. <clears throat> and so it's a little rough having this out and about. But knowing that I survived that aerial ace pretty well, <clears throat> I feel like we might be able to scare out Aerodactyl with the Ice Fang. <clears throat> so it looks like we've done pretty well. Now, this is a Regenerator Slowbro. He's got the Assault Vest, but <clears throat> this is a curse set on Walren. <coughs> With already a lot of special defense bulk. <clears throat> so, I feel like we should be okay to set up Hail. We've got... Slowbro is really defensive bulky with the Assault Vest on top of that. He's going to be an all-around bulky Pokemon. And then he's going to regenerate 30% of his HP on the Switch. So now, I'm already faster than him because Slowbro is stupid slow. And then, I mean, once you max out his bulkiness, you're going to be okay there. But again, special defensive bulky, taking neutral damage. Oh, the burn sucks, though. Oh, that sucks so much. I'm not digging that burn. That burn is not a happy burn.
Hmm. I probably could afford one curse that'll increase my defense and my attack. But I feel like going for the flinch hacks on crunch is a better choice than trying to go for... Uh, nope, it's not working. Alright, I can't keep him in against these flamethrowers. Yes, I'm going to get Ice Body. Yes, I'm going to get the lefties. But Burn's going to negate most of that. So, unfortunately, Walrin really can't stay in on this. I want to keep him alive for that just that little bit longer. Because he's losing the same amount of HP to Burn as he's gaining back from lefties and everything else. So... Hmm... Now we just have to threaten something out. So, what we're doing here is we're going into Crawdunt. Crawdunt has an Assault Vest of his own, and has Knockoff. But it looks like he predicted the switch pretty well, knowing what we were going to run into. Um, and now, unfortunately... Oh, Crawdunt. Hmm. U-turn's going to be an issue. Crowdon is pretty defensive bulky. He doesn't have a whole lot of HP, so maybe we can get away with it. I don't know. We'll have to check it out. Uh, uh, it's risky. Alright, so he's going to go for Fake Out with the Normal Gem. So he burned up the Normal Gem, <clears throat> which I'm okay with. Got the Flinchy Flinch. But Crawdon's not going to be able to survive that U-turn. <clears throat> I'm just not seeing it. Alright. <clears throat> so, he's just going to straight away withdraw. Imagine that he was going to... Hmm. But the nice thing is that we were switching out as well. We were going into Nido King. I wasn't going for that superpower that time. I was just going straight into Nido King. Superpower would have been a great predict. It looks like that's what he was predicting immediately. <clears throat> and so I've got a couple moves that are going to be super effective against Trevenant in Ice Beam and Fire Blast. And Sludge Bomb. Almost all my moves are super effective against Trevenant. So I'm expecting that Trevenant is going to switch out, but it looks like he's going to stick around. He is a special defensive wall. And so if I, if I had gone for Sludge Bomb, he would be out of here. Just things to know. I was predicting a switch, so I went for Ice Beam that looked like it was going to do some neutral coverage against most things, except for, let's say, um, yeah, that's Slowbro. Hmm. Slowbro was the only thing that I was really worried about switching in, but it looks like with this Life Orb Sheer Force, we're going to do alright. And Slowbro's not going to be able to stay in on this. He's got Regenerator, so he's going to regenerate most of that back, but I don't imagine that he's going to stay in on this. Um, I don't know. Maybe Sludge Bomb would have been the best way to go. Maybe it would have been the best way to go. Yeah. Clearly. Clearly, Sludge Bomb would have been the best choice instead of Ice Beam. Ah, man. It's kind of hard to wrap your head around the sheer force, and you're like, Ice Beam, after 15 years of using Ice Beam, you're like, oh, wait, it doesn't freeze anymore. So I do have T-Bolt, which is super effective against Aerodactyl. I've also got Ice Beam that is going to be four times super effective, so I'm going for that, hoping that Nidoking's going to be able to survive most anything. But it looks like we get some flinch hacks, so we're going to have to keep Nido King alive. He's doing so much damage to everything that we cannot risk losing him. So we got to switch him out. It's It sucks, but you know what? The rest of his team is pretty slow, barring Ambipom. So we're switching into Klefki here to try and set something up and, and help ourselves out. I don't know if he's really going to keep this Aerodactyl in. He might have Earthquake. But I'm banking on the switch here. Absolutely 100% banking on the switch. 
and we're going to try and do some sort of damage on whatever comes in. And so now we're going to see Trevenant, and I'm going for foul play. Trevenant's a pretty heavy physical attacker, predicted the switch, got Trevenant out of here. Now, I was kind of expecting to see something else come in, maybe Slowbro. Slowbro would have taken super effective damage, not as much, just because he's not a physical attacker. But he was predicting that I was going to go for some sort of status move. And that was the thing that I was playing against. Alright, so now, I need to keep Klefki alive. And I'm pretty sure that a maxed out, like, defensive, bulky, slow bro with HP and defense, he's not going to take out Klefki with a flamethrower. So I'm fairly certain that I can keep Klefki in here. <clears throat> now, with that said, I do have to switch him out at some point. So, we're going to switch him out, basically, well, now. Gotta switch him out of here, get him out, do something... Uh, Typhlosion isn't a great one, it's just trying to get that flamethrower and do something with it. Uh, I don't want to take more flamethrowers to the face if I can. <clears throat> and seeing as that was a critical hit, we should be okay. Now, Focus Blast not going to really help us out, so we do have to do basically a double switch, and he should be able to predict that pretty well. But I wanted to eat that flamethrower with Typhlosion, and then switch back out. Double switch is not as common, but he could be predicting it. And so now we've got Venusaur coming in, and he's going to take the Scald. Even if he gets burned, we should be okay, just because, well, he is what he is. Now, unfortunately, Slowbro already kind of paralyzed. So, it is unfortunate. Ooh, misclick. Ah, talking, not thinking. Take it back like Pokemon Showdown. Let me take it back. Let me take it back. He might switch it out because I've got Energy Ball instead of, like, Giga Drain. I should have Giga Drain on Mega Venusaur, especially considering this sort of instance. But I am going for Sludge Bomb, which is a misclick. Energy Ball would have been the best choice here. Uh, disappointing. Energy Ball will Oko. But I'm going to go for Synthesis here. I really am. Um, and the reason that I'm going for Synthesis is I, I was predicting a switch. Especially with this slow bro at such little HP. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to switch out because I know the Energy Ball should deal with this pretty well. But it looks like he was kind of predicting a switch to come in. And I wasn't going for it. Energy Ball should deal with slow bro from this point. <clears throat> I'm hoping... I really was expecting a switch. I was going to be back at basically max HP on this Venusaur. Unfortunate. But we should be able to clear out the, the Slowbro now. Hopefully. Ugh, barely. Barely. That was close. Now we're going to take some more burn damage. So now we've gotten down to the point where Mega Aerodactyl will be able to deal with us with basically anything. <clears throat> Ambipom's going to come back out. Uh, we know that he doesn't have Fling, so he's not running a Fling King's Rock set. He had Normal Gem Fake Out. We've seen Taunt. And we've seen U-Turn. But if he is going to U-Turn, what is he going to be able to switch into? We've got Mega Aerodactyl, which we haven't done anything to. We'd love to have him paralyzed, but... Everything's basically at half HP. Uh, there's nothing I really want to take a U-turn with. Unfortunate. So he's going to go with Fake Out first, and then U-turn next. And with the burn damage, U-turn's going to be pretty close to dealing with Venusaur. Oh, he's going to go for Acrobatics, because now he doesn't have an item. Oh, that's out of here. <clears throat> Had it been U-Turn, we would have been able to deal with this pretty well, but uh, that's unfortunate. Now, Ambipom is really fast, so we have to worry about that. <clears throat> and we are sending out Klefki. Klefki is going to bait a taunt, most likely.
So we should be able to bait it taunt if he's playing straight up, and then we'll go into a double switch. I'm playing a little tricky here, hoping that I can bait something. And then we've got our Typhlosion, which is already choiced, so we're not going to go for any status moves anyway. <clears throat> and then we're just going to hope and pray. Didn't get it this time. Focus missed. Alright, so I imagine the Aerodactyl's probably going to be the next one coming out. He's going to have a rock move. <clears throat> and even though we've got Choice Scarf on Typhlosion... Oh, he's going to go into... Oh. That might have been a misclick, though. Scouting out the fact that I'm going for Focus Blast... I feel like this might be dangerous. But he survives it. Oh, that's crazy. Nicely done. I seriously underestimated the ability to resist that. Hmm. I did not think that Hydreigon was going to take a Focus Blast straight to the face. Really did not. 100% thought that he was going to be just screwed. Disappointing. Alright, Typhlosion. You disappoint me, sir. Alright, so now we're switching into the special defensive bulky Walrin to try and take that. We've got leftovers, so we should be able to survive one turn. Um, I was hoping that it was going to do less damage than that, just because the burn damage is going to take us down far enough. The Dark Pulse is out of here. So, I was hoping for something more than just Death Fodder with Walrin, but... Uh, Walrin is... But that death fodder. Flamethrower does neutral damage over there. Now we've taken out Electivire. We've got the Hydreigon. We've got our Acrobatics and U-Turn Friend. Alright. <clears throat> so now we've got Crawdont coming out. Crawdunt does have Aqua Jet, so Aqua Jet's going to do twice as much damage as it normally would, just because of his adaptability. This is a max defense, max HP Crawdunt, and when you ask me why, I'll say that Oscar Mayer has a way with B-O-L-O-G-N-A. That's about all I got. <clears throat> max HP, max defense. I felt like he needed the HP to even stay alive, and... I mean, the speed wasn't going to help him out. He's already got access to DD, but then I decided to throw on the Assault Vest to him, so it's just an interesting mishmash of things. Now, we know that we've got Acrobatics on this thing. We know that we've got U-Turn on this thing. Uh, we know that we've got Fake Out on this thing. Fake Out's going to come in and do some sort of damage immediately. And the only other thing that we have to worry about is that Aerodactyl. So I'm going to switch into Klefki, taking that fake out. And then I know that he's... I don't think I'm going to bait the taunt again. I feel like he's going to go for Acrobatics. I really don't think I can bait a taunt twice. I don't think it's happening. But... Uh, it's going to be interesting. If we can bait a taunt again, I'm going to be really excited. Because we would like to set this thing up especially... Uh, nope. Nope, not happening. <clears throat> Acrobatics, Typhlosion is out of here. Typhlosion has Focus Blast, so if we baited a taunt, we would have been alright. Might have been able to get the Focus Blast off, but that didn't happen. <clears throat> alright. Uh, Crawdunt, you gotta help us out, buddy. Crawdunt can survive a U-turn. That's our biggest thing right now. That's what we're hoping for. Survive the U-turn. Got it. Okay, max defense, max HP. Not looking so dumb now, is it? Yeah, that's right. Not looking so dumb now. Yeah. 
All right, so now Aerodactyl is going to come out because it's the only thing that he's got left to switch into. And we're going to go for Aqua Jet, which is going to do super effective damage as long as he keeps it in. But it doesn't look like he can really switch out. Um, and we bring it down to 1 HP, and we don't have any more. Oh, no. Damn. That's unfortunate. I think that we lose this one based on a couple HP. Mm. This is the thing that we've been waiting to T-Wave all day. So we gotta do it. We gotta go for Aerodactyl. We gotta slow it down so that Nido King can at least come in here and do something. But unfortunately, I feel like Acrobatics is just gonna have a little bit too much on us. I feel like he wins this no matter what. I don't see a way out of this. We got Aerodactyl dealt with pretty well. So we're alright. Okay. Maybe we got this. We got lucky with the Parahax. It doesn't matter what move we go for, we just got to deal with Aerodactyl. Paralysis was the best way to go. Uh, we wanted to slow down Aerodactyl first and foremost, and hope and pray that we got some Parahax. We got the Parahax in there, so we're good to go there. And now, we're going to take a fake out straight to the face, slow down Klefki with by one shot. Um, but Taunt isn't priority. So we should be able to get the Parahax in, get that T-Wave... Slow him down just enough that Acrobatics won't hit Nido King right away. And Nido King's got one shot at this. He's got one shot. <clears throat> Alright, Nido King. Sheer force and life orb against a paralyzed Amber Palm. It's your one shot, buddy. Now, out of the four moves that we've got here, we've got Sludge Bomb, which is going to do neutral damage. We've got Fire Blast, which probably does more damage, because Fire Blast is more powerful. But we have to hit it, and we can't play on Luck, so Fire Blast is out because it's got a chance to miss. Ice Beam and T-Bolt aren't as powerful because they're non-stab, so we have to go for Sludge Bomb here and hope that it deals with the rest of the HP on Ambipom, and we get a critical, so we win. Oh, man.